Yes, we continue to track what is now tropical storm and still very heavy rainfall and flooding concerns uh, out towards Orlando, Daytona Beach, stretching up through Jacksonville. This storm weakened overnight significantly, which we expected it to do, but the threat is not over. We still have tropical storm force winds of 65 miles per hour, gusts at 75 as this storm continues to move at about eight miles per hour towards the north northeast. Notice how those 65 mile per hour winds actually get bumped up to 70 miles per hour once we get into Friday, which means that little stretch of ocean that Tropical Storm Ian is going to sit over. It's actually going to strengthen and eat up those warm waters and then wrap back into the southeast with more heavy rainfall and flooding issues expected anywhere from northern Florida all the way through Virginia. I mean, that's 10 to 20 inches of additional rainfall stretching from the coast into eastern Tennessee and Kentucky. I'll tell you, this thing was not only powerful, it was big. And I just wanted to put this into perspective here. State of Texas, about 773 miles wide. Harvey was 230 miles in width. Ian, 345 miles across. So it was about 115 miles bigger than Harvey was. So strong, big, and unfortunately devastating for the coast of Florida.